Okay, this is uh, just a demo of how I use incremental reading to keep track of what I'm uh, of where I'm reading in multiple documents. So I um, this flow is generally called incremental reading in that you're allowed to read multiple things at once, and I usually used a spaced repetition software like Anki to uh, to take my notes, um, and then that way I can never forget them. But the f the process basically begins off with um, when I first start reading a PDF. I have a script that I wrote that takes a PDF and uh, tags it with these little annotations at the top. And you can see one on each page. There's one there, one there, one there, right at the, here at the top. And this app I'm using is just called, it's a normal PDF reader. It's just Foxit Reader. Um, I'm on Ubuntu, so I don't have access to um, Adobe Acrobat. And the nice thing about this is that while I'm reading the book, I can just go up here and pull this down. And then so, you know, obviously that's not much, doesn't take much to read that. And then as I'm scanning forward on this page, I can just uh, keep moving, moving forward the, this pointer, signaling that I've read that part of the document. So let's just say I've read this paragraph. I just move it down here and then I can, I can just save the document. That saves it out to the, to the file, so the next time I open it, I can see which ones I've read. And then I can easily scan uh, the sidebar to see which pages I've read. And then that way, when I reopen documents, I know what I've read, and I can immediately start off without losing, um, losing my place. Um, this helps out for two reasons, because one, if I have multiple books, then I can just you know, go back and forth reading multiple books. I'll tend to read, you know, a few technical books at a time, but sometimes philosophy and other subjects, because it's difficult to read dense te technical or mathematical books all the time. It's nice to do philosophy or something else that's interesting. I'm reading Benjamin Franklin here. And then um, this is a white paper document. So this is an also subtle use case difference. You can see that I've read, um, this left pane is the thumbnail for the pages. And you can see that I've read most of this white paper. Um, but down here, I jumped around a little bit. And if I use a normal bookmark, I wouldn't be able to do this. It needs to be a selectable region. And this works as, uh, as I'm moving through the document. And there's also another uh, slightly different thing, but let me pull up another uh, document here. This one is going to be, um, hold on just one second. Okay, that's the squad. Okay, here we go. So here's another one. This is two panels. So in this situation, I set up two annotations. And then this annotation just moves forward just like this. So um, this way I can read one half of the document. And then uh, as I jump up, I can read this other section of the document for two panel PDFs. And that's my workflow. I just I really think that this fl uh, this type of marked reading could work well for a lot of people, especially in the future. If you built in an eye camera, eye, eye tracking software, you would literally be able to see which portions of the document you're reading, and then do this automatically without having to to keep track of everything. So that's basically my workflow.